this is going to be an interesting, interesting run, I think. Also, I know stream was, like, dying a bit yesterday, because I had a bunch of, like, decimals and shit going on my timer. But I just removed them. I also changed, made a new layout a bit. Then I'll swap between. Oh, and I also, because I'm going to start going through these notes, and I'm going to start, like, adding my own things to them. I actually added one of the inputs for the settings. Nope. And I already fucked that up. <laughs> I messed it up anyway. Oh boy. Okay, so it's three down, not four down. It's three down, not four down, which makes that nine down, not eight down. Okay, so this is already wrong. Whatever, man. Already, already goofing up. So, I don't know if I'm going to be able to... No, no, I am going to be able to. I don't know if I'm going to actually finish a full run today. We'll just see on how the pace is. Um, Basically, we can go to probably about the three-ish hour mark before... After the three-ish, maybe three and a half hour mark, um, there's no return because there won't be time to finish a run. Um, but there's also time for abilities. If we can grab myself a scrappy flamigo, oh boy, will we be living it up? So there's a lot of time, especially in the first hour and a half, because I was doing it as a joke, any percent run. Um, my intro was quite poor. Um, and also because I have no splits to compare against, so I wasn't really aiming for anything. But the first hour and a half actually wasn't too great. That's the only bit I really looked over. So, there's definitely like a minute minimum there, probably a lot more than a minute. But the goal for today, something that would be nice, it's not necessary, would be if I could get a 5-3x. Because it feels very possible. Now, obviously, I'm substituting this run for Mochi, and that's because I don't think I could finish a Mochi run. I don't think, um, it's, it's viable for me today. And also because I've just started downloading the 1209. But any percent after that run kind of got me hooked, I'm not going to lie. Kind of hooked on any percent. Oh, there's a run I was meant to verify that I didn't end up verifying.
Early mashing, baby. I already much prefer having a Nimona one split over, um, what's it called? Not having one. Um, because it lets me know if there's much improvement on the intro. And it just makes more sense, in my opinion. Granted, it's the only Nimona split apart from Champion. Ooh, 759. That's really cool. I probably don't have much talking in this part because not much is happening. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> just gonna be me trying to narrow down my my, my speed. Shit, <laughs> dude, really? <laughs> That's bollocks. Whatever, man.
So yesterday when it came to redoing notes, I really didn't do much, if anything. I did up until the team star grunt. Preferably need level seven right now. Uh, that Lachonk should do it, right? Oh. Not that I even needed the Lachonk. Oh, shit. That's, that's dumb. It's fine. I don't have to try and do anything funny in the cave. Usually I wouldn't like having splits um, with times on them. However, I'm actually quite enjoying having splits. Because I get to know my pace. I get to know if the run's actually going well or if I'm just hallucinating. Ninety percent of the time it's gonna be I'm hallucinating. But today's gonna be a chill day. I'm ready for what's gonna happen because I did a run yesterday. Uh, it felt crap up until the end in terms of my brain cells. Um, I liked the run, but my brain kind of went at the three and a half hour mark or something like that. Um, you could like tell it as well whenever I spoke. Especially around Ortega. But now my mind is more refreshed on the run. Because that was my first any percent run in. Three months or something. Since the deck effect though. Um, and also. I'm ready for the game to like. Quickly drop in pace. So. Yeah. It's gonna happen today, hopefully. Also, I previously, or yesterday, um, there was a chat box. Um, there's one big reason that I decided to get rid of it. Um, and that's because there's no one ever in chat, usually. There's very rare is there anyone actually in chat. So I think adding a cool PNG is better anyway. So I added the Piplup thing. And also I've decided to have two layouts that I alternate between. Um, for life split. Um, just depending on how I'm feeling, whether I want a more traditional layout or if I want to use my other one. That's force walk, isn't it? I don't know. I still don't fully understand why being forced to walk is bad. One good thing about this controller being kind of broken is that there's a little notch now. I hold up and then there's like a little notch that I get stuck on, which is walking before I have to apply more pressure to it. Which is uh, nice, because it means that I can walk if I need to, especially in uh, yeah situations like this. I 
Oh, that's a full smoke. Okay, I didn't know that. That one's also, I'm pretty sure, right? Move. I don't know. Yet, I don't know what's the whole thing of try not to get full smoke. I don't know what the whole ordeal is, but I guess if that's just how it be, that's how it be. So that was a good cave, personally. Print, kind of annoying, but fine. I know burn now. I shall take uh, the no burn. I don't know if I burned anything in my last run. I don't really remember. If 
fucking hope not. <laughs> Actually, no, I hope so because something's free time zone. I don't remember if I put kept auto save on. Preferably get like level eight now. Um, the last run there was like four fighters, which is nuts. Um, I'm definitely not expecting that, that again. I know there's one guaranteed one. That's two. Three, four, there's one over there too, fucking hell. <laughs> I'm not gonna risk going for that one. But there's another four? I don't know if there's meant to be four. I only know if there being one guarantee. Yeah, the amount of times that I've done Nimona 2 and then not deposited is not even funny. <laughs>
we're almost done with all of the gameplay for the intro. Just got this next two fights to go, and then it's just talking for a quarter of an hour. Um, and then we can actually play the game. The, the one issue I have with the intro being this long is that it gets you really tired. My, please, thank you. It gets you really tired, so when it comes to actually playing the game, um, <laughs> uh, you're already really tired out, and then you've got to do, like, probably one of the hardest movement sections of all time. So that's probably a lie, because trying to run into Sneasel on the way up to um, Mountain Candies is quite hard. But like you're already really tired out because you've been playing for about 50 minutes of just boring. <laughs> <coughs> Not really much gameplay. Also the fact that Flicoco is slower than the Shrudel is iffy. Fine no, it's not. Hey, I don't think there was one unnecessary bin there, or one bin at all, they're all unnecessary. and get in the middle of that door just to save the slow slide into the middle of the door.
god. This has to be the worst part of the run. Because this is just slow and obnoxious and anything under the sun, really. So, earlier I mentioned about resetting. And how I could probably go to like the three, three and a half hour mark before, like, resetting would mean no more runs. Even whilst keeping that in mind, I think I'm going to try and keep this run alive. Basically, no matter what, unless I'm like plus four. <laughs> if I can keep this run until it's a f no longer a five, four X, I think... Then I'll reset. But as long as this is 5 4 Xable, then I'll keep the run going. Which I mean, that's 6 minutes and like 18 seconds before I have to reset. So. It's a very high reset mark. So until this is not a five five X. Uh, 5 4 x pace run uh, I'll keep it alive Almost ready to leave. Also, uh, the Mochi Run is almost finished downloading. We are currently 90% on the download. Where I'll probably just end up editing it into like the main game and then Indigo Disc, probably.
dude running in this room is always a pain because this you can't really see when running behind you and those chairs always get in the fucking way always get in the way it's not even funny how god awful those chairs are A lot of moving inside the school is just really iffy. Okay, we can almost play the fucking game. Three more minutes of mashing. I'm just gonna quickly grab my phone with some mashing, baby. And I'm back. I just need to grab my phone. Um, it was low battery earlier, so I put it on charge. And I felt like now was the perfect time to grab it because, well, I don't fucking know why it is. Oh shit, the video's done downloading.
please. Preferably I picked that TM up, but it's fine. I definitely can go over the other end of that rock. To save a bit of time. I don't have to be going that far around.
Get the Mac Leaders these one. Get dead. Tangled feet. Yeah. That's fine. I try and just balance the amount of Hurtizen and Kabos's. So probably should end up going with like 7 and 15 or 7 and 14. Something like that probably. I'm gonna write down 7 and 15 in a minute. Dude, life 2 is actually just the stupidest thing ever. The worst move. Leer is what you want. Water gun's fine. I'm lucky I fucking killed there. Yeah, as you can tell, the intro wasn't too great. As Morty, over a minute ahead. Something I've been thinking about recently is getting a uh, another Switch. Now, I don't know whether I want to do that because obviously apparently they've started mass production on the Nintendo Switch too. <coughs> but I've been thinking about it. Um, because then that could enable me without risking deleting all my other data like Tears of the Kingdom and whatnot to run... 1.0 games um meaning that the theoretical any percent runs the people have of this game because obviously there's like titan skips rare candy glitches um and all of that um like what am i thinking <coughs> that could really make this run interesting um, could potentially start running that, because I do run a physical copy of Scarlet. So, in theory, um, before I did any of that though, I'd have to actually make a theory route of any percent. Um, because I don't know how viable or what versions on what, so I'd have to do my research first. 
but that could be something that's interesting because I know that uh, when the Path of Legends glitches first started coming, I was actually kind of interested in that. Um, but also, I do also want to improve my 90% glitch this time. So, yeah. Don't know, we would have to see. You will definitely have to see how viable all that shenanigans is before I actually end up doing anything about it. Dude, that dealing is so annoying. Okay. But it's cool it's cool to think about at least that this game can potentially have a really, really interesting uh any percent time. Move over a bit so I don't fall over. Oh, fuck, dude, I thought that Flower Patch was a Pokemon. Any long stretch of movement is scary in Pokemon. Scarlet and Violet, because it's just the thought of losing so much time to a simple thing of, oh, um,. I got fucked over by a Pokemon spawning inside of me where I lose time. It's like you need full attention on this game. Like at all times you need attention. That's a bit of a wonky line, but it works. Kind of annoying. Got to clear a lot faster as well. Good. I'm also going to not... Um, something I noticed in the first little bit that I think I do quite a lot is I just go for unnecessary uh, items that like granted they only lose like half a second but like it adds up quite a bit like something like that polka doll i'll always pick up one it's safety and two it's not like oh i have to change course even if it's just a tiny bit like in fact i have to run over that essentially to pick up uh, to pick it up also there's a door that keeps shutting and i'm quite scared But other things like that full heal on that lower part of the mounting is scary. Dude, fuck. It's scary because, um, oh no, it loses me time. Um, God, why does it lose me time? I'm losing my train of thought. Because I have to divert a tiny bit. I think this is losing me time. I'm pretty sure I'm only meant to pick this up if I'm scrappy. I guess it's fine. Oh, that's done. Yeah, 
I'd like to see if he could actually just jump over that. And that's a great bit. Okay, that's fine. That's, I, that one. I did see that graveyard and I didn't dive it. That one I didn't see. That one's really making this segment bad. Okay, that one I was not hoping to happen. That's gonna slow me down again. Yeah, it's mainly like going down hills is what slows me right down. Now I have to BLJ up here because fucking waifu hell is on my ass. No, okay, that's it. And I'm being chased down by a toddle. So far, which is really nice, is I haven't been like slow to get a candy because there's a Pokemon in the way. like now <laughs> that train ended immediately when <coughs> that fucking thing went in my way yeah i was about to not enter the gym then which would have been bad That whole section was really good, apart from those two encounters, I feel. And maybe a tiny slip up somewhere else that I don't really remember where. What? Okay, bullshit. Actual just, that's just annoying now. Now it's just stupid. It's really hard to see them, which is the dumb part. It's not even like, oh, it's like there and you can obviously see it. it that's the same, it's just. Because. It's not necessarily that you can see it. Fucking hell, man. Okay, this is just where it's going downhill from here, I think. Okay, now it's just going downhill. Might as well pick up these quick balls. Fucking hell. What the fuck? Okay, that's again essentially just being really slow. Turning around, I don't really get it. I don't know why it happens. I don't really get why, I just know that it happens. It's like it shouldn't, in theory, happen. Get that Mackley. I was afraid that I just missed that. That is right. And so also flying back to Zappa Pico uh, has now become easier because I've kind of learnt the thing.
that's gonna yeah. okay, at least this time I didn't get caught between two fucking encounters Oh, I've had so many already, I don't think it matters that much. It's also nice that so far, like last run, I would have glanced on my notes a few times. <coughs> like just to make sure that I know where I'm going. Um... I am so confident right now. I actually... The notes are more of a nuisance to me because I've had to scroll them. Like, I haven't r looked at the notes once. Now, when I do end up getting a Scrappy Flamigo, I will probably have to look at the notes, because they're a tiny bit different. Um, but, it's fine. It just means that I'm getting more practice on specifically Tangle Feet. I need to practice the movement from Orthworm till Iono, or Lavincia rather, because I don't actually know the movement. I kind of just make it up as I go along. Which probably isn't the greatest thing in the world, but like, can you really blame me? Oh yeah, we gotta watch the up level up. I was gonna say upgrade. What the fuck? Do -do 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 -do.
Okay. That's kind of annoying, but it's fine. Okay. I almost saved myself there as well, but that's also fine, I guess. That movement is probably one that I'll stick to, even if it's not fast. Uh, if it is uh, slower, it can't be by much, surely. So that was also solid movement. Um, to what's it called? Valencia. Uh, not too many mistakes. Um, I did get a hard landing. Um, which I got in my PB. I feel like it could have been avoided though. Um, and then not much happening after that. Pretty simple. This is a good box. I did reduce lag quite a bit, which is quite nice. So, yeah. It could be interesting. We're already two minutes ahead. Um, the, the goal we want is to be 341 ahead at the end. 342. Because if we can get three three X or three X, sorry, a five three X, that would mean that I'm less than ten minutes off my goal, which would be super duper nice. Um, but that's when I have to start knuckling down. Probably start using the IV tracker a lot more. That's an annoying crit, but fine.
for the second one I don't mash A because there's been too many times where I've accidentally pressed A on Jolteon. Even if it's really hard to press A on Jolteon, I still managed to do it somehow. Yeah, that's like the two minutes of just not really much happening. I mean, two fights and playing fucking with Walda. But, I mean, I guess it's better than fucking 14 minutes of actually just talking to people. That was a lag. I'm not even going to risk Acro here. I don't think I'll ever risk Acro here. Especially not without an IV tracker thing. Oh, I didn't even check my stats. That's an issue, actually. I don't even need the IV tracker. I just need to check my stats, which I didn't actually do. Bullshit is what that is, but... Uh, no, what I can do about it now.
Okay, we lost one second. Probably not even that. I don't have the detail timer anymore, so I can't really check. <coughs> I've tried to have... So the thing with uh, my layouts is usually they'll have a lot of information. But I want to have it so there's useful information like possible time save, which won't be useful for this run. Um, and best possible time. Like those are useful, but I don't want things too in detail like... Oh, um, how long this segment's taken me. Um, my golds versus my PB and all that. Because that's information that's not necessary and not like hard right useful. That in the long run, the more I look at that and the more worse it gets. Um, the more tempted I am to just reset. No, I do have pace placement because... Like, who loves... Who doesn't like pace placement? And then I have best possible time, so I know, like, generally what pace I can be. Because um, that's one thing that annoys me, is continuing a run without knowing what pace it could, slash, is. And then possible time save because <coughs> it's just a neat handy little thing that won't fuck me up in the long run. That's but I'm trying to limit the amount of information that I'm giving myself for the sole reason of I tend to reset a lot depending on small factors that don't don't particularly mean much. And it's just not a good habit. This is not a run that resetting over tiny mistakes is something that you should be doing. For this game, it's quite the opposite of you should not be resetting over, li over little mistakes like that. So, I mean... But, I, I don't know. Also, pace placement doesn't really tell me what, much about what's going on. Like, it doesn't tell me, oh, I'm on this pace, and oh, I'm doing this badly. It does, but it's, like, in a very vague and broad way that I don't think matters too much. Um, it's just nice to know. And for, um, anyone who may, probably not, uh, be watching to know that this is either a mid-run, an okay run, or a really bad run. Or record pace. Not record pace, BB pace, sorry. We'll never reach record pace because of just how crap this game runs. I forgot it's only that one. What?
That was not great. Hello there, Karnib. Welcome to stream. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the follow as well. Hope your whatever time of day it is for you is going well. That was not a very healthy Sunflora. Too many bonks. I jumped in the air on the second one. And um, I fell on the water. It's 1 p.m. Hope the morning went well then. Oh god. It should be an okay Brassius. I probably lost like three or four. Go for it. I don't know how well the other movement was, though so from the watchtower it felt pretty clean. I didn't hit the railing this time. This is either going to be like even or losing slash gaining a tiny bit of time. The problem with some of these other segments is that they are really, um, what's it called? They're really short and losing slash gaining time doesn't happen very often. Um, what I used to do when I used to have situations like that, in fact I still do, is usually I'd look up like a guide or something, or even a speedrun to see what they would do because um, I'm too lazy to figure out the solution myself though I don't really play many games that are new and whatnot so I don't really encounter that problem too much but usually looking up guides and stuff on YouTube I'm also a lot more confident that the next section, Montenegro Mont to Medali. I'm playing on a normal Switch from like 2018 or something. Very old. The same Switch I've had for a couple of years now. Very minuscule. Yeah, I wasn't too keen on getting myself an OLED. I didn't really see the need. However, now that I think about it, with whatever I was mentioning earlier, about trying to get 1.0 on Scarlet again, it seems like it could have been an idea, but... Fine. I may get myself a normal basic switch again. I'll wait till the next console comes out to try that. Yeah, those Iono and Brassio splits were basically on par. Less than a second between PB and now. Quite. Quite the, um, thing about. Um, my favorite Pokemon is Umbreon, um, and then the whole school, Bunny Line, 
comes up very high. I don't really give it much thought. It's usually just those two that are my favorite. Also, Flamigo's up there as well, which is cool because that's what I use in the run. That's annoying. I should have slid down there. There should be all of them here. I'm slowly remembering everything. Slowly but definitely surely. For example, I'm remembering to pick up this X attack a lot more. Ever since I was helping crawl and found that. Um, I remember it. No worries, and thank you for the good luck. Um, yeah, the X attack is instilled in my brain. There's like nothing that'll make me forget that. Fuck man, I shouldn't have zoomed in. Why do I always zoom in for? So there's she like half a second after I zoom in. I get pulled into a fucking jump off. That wouldn't have happened. Dude, that looked like a Pokemon then. I'm not taking any risks. Um... I forgot I gotta lose the rival first. I saw this menu and then I was like, shit, how am I meant to do that? And I forgot that it's, um, I did that menu afterwards. I need to make sure I grabbed everything real quick. Medium three, the large, and then the X attack. And then I got the Pokemon Center. Okay. I did grab everything. That was a lot cleaner as well, movement-wise, from Montenvera to Medali. Didn't really mess up there. Had that one encounter, I think. I did have an encounter, right? I'm not stupid. Rockruff, also one of my favorite Pokemon, actually. Uh, Rockruff, Lycanroc. It's like Lycanroc, Reboot, and Umbreon. There you go. That was, that's my top three. I don't even know why I'm trying to split yet.
the fuck? What? Wait, if you want to hang off it... Wait, what? I'm not... I'm not level 70 or 71. Huh? I'm level 61. Okay, I remember that. Fucking hell. <laughs> I remember that. What? I'm the wrong level. No, 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 no. Go back. <laughs> back? Nah, brother, I'm not joking. <laughs> Am I actually the wrong, like, that wrong of a level? I already did the menu here. Am I the wrong level or am I stupid? I don't... Wait, what? Why am I only level 60? What? No, like, what? <laughs> There's no way that's right. Now we need to go back to like here. No, that's not... I should be like level 72. Can I not use all my candies? I must have not used all my candies. I still kill. So that's fine. But I must have not used all the candies. I'm losing like a shit ton of time now. Ten? Over ten. Eighteen. I lost eighteen there. That was solid and I lost eighteen. I'm about to lose a fuck ten more time too. Especially because that last run had a good olive roll. I'm so lost. Why am I only level sixty? Hey Stas, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. 
there's something going on here. There's... I definitely only used two candies or something. I must have had some, like, goofy snapback. Okay, yeah, I did only use two. Okay, okay, okay. Saved. Lost me a bit more time. Uh, what's the average? If you mean average time, um, the world record is a 5.19. 5 hours, 19 minutes, but because of how poorly the game runs after every update, um, a good time would be about 5 hours and 20 minutes. And an average time would be about 5 hours 40. 5 hours 30. Between 5 hours 35 and 5 hours 40. In my, from what I can determine. Um. It doesn't matter. I lost like 20 seconds and then I lost even more time for having to do more menuing. At least I wasn't stupid and I noticed. Yep. People do beat these games that fast. Though it takes a lot of finding out where all of the rare candies are and the XP candies and finding the right Pokemon with the right moves. This is bad, the sandstorm. Good job, this isn't the gym fight though, because that would be a lot worse. But the art of speedrunning is nuts. Um, this is fine. I got the. actually went to the right fly point, which saves it. Yeah, 80 hours is normal for casual, I'd say. The whole speedrun, though, is just run from candy to candy, fly point to fly point. Not, no exploring done at all. Actually, there's quite a bit of exploring, but that's just to set everything up. Um, I can't jump on top of that, right? Or can I? No. Yeah, I'm just now losing more time. This is a bad Bombardier split. Holy crap. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm not someone who can sit there and play a game casually for no purpose. So speedrunning is the one thing that I can do um, to keep enjoying a game longer than the first playthrough. And I find them pretty interesting. Um, it's like the only thing I do, really. Uh, what game is that in? Because I know there's like three that have outbreaks. Actually, I'm guessing it's Scarlet because Dynasty. Yeah, that's. Yeah, I'm stupid. I don't really know how outbreaks work in this game. So, I don't know if 9 is a lot or not.
feel like I'm about to lose like a ton of time. I see, I see. The, the much I know about shiny hunting in this game is that it's dead easy. <laughs> that's a, as much as my knowledge extends to. And that's because I found like four whilst doing speedruns. I found a fledgling and a spathra. And there's two more that I don't remember because they were a couple years ago now. Two. That's a lot of the shinies. I couldn't imagine it. The most amount of shinies I've forgotten one day was two back when I was doing random ultra wormholes for legendaries. In Ultra Sun and Moon a few years back. Let's go over please. Oh, just don't gain any height, I see. Yeah, unfortunately this is a much worse olive roll. Then yesterday, we're going to be losing even more time. Fair enough. I don't think I've got a shiny charm in any game. I went and tried to do it in um, Pokemon Sword and Shield like a year ago or so. It just bores me to try and catch Pokemon. Running around catching Pokemon bores me to death, unfortunately. Playing any Pokemon game casually is just... It, I can't do it. My brain gets bored after like two minutes of loading the game up. And that's basically the same with every game. Nope, that's a rock off. Uh, the game has one. I mean, there's a speedrun category. The, the whole point is getting the shiny charm. But you have to catch every Pokemon and get them to research rank 10. Which I don't have the energy to do. But the only reason why I know that is because there's a whole speedrun category called shiny charm. Mm-hmm. Research rank 10. Um, the world record for that speedrun was recently beaten by probably the greatest Legends Arceus player there is uh, in 13 hours and 39 minutes, I think. Well, okay, definitely should have hit that, but... Yeah, speedrunners are crazy. Um, for example, the world record in Pokemon Sword and Shield is... Well, without the DLC is 4 hours and 4 minutes. Um, what else is there? Pokemon Sun and Moon is just under 5 hours. These people are fast. Um, because I watch only Pokemon speedruns, basically. Um, Pokemon speedrunning is basically the only thing I do. You 
can beat Pokemon Legends Arceus in 3 hours and 35 or 3 hours 36 I think that's what the time is um for Pokemon Diamond and Pearl it's 3 hours and 40 minutes um an hour and 55 or 53 for Pokemon Sapphire Pokemon Omega Ruby is just under 3 um, Pokemon Red and Blue is 1 hour 43 or just 1 hour 44 like on the dot I'm surprised I saved any time there I think Pokemon Dash which is the spin off DS game is like 20 minutes for any percent I spend too much time on speedrun.com I know the one that's really shocking to me is that the world record for beating the generations one through eight is a red, gold, sapphire, diamond, black, um, X, moon, and shield is 29 hours, just under 30. I'm surprised that saved any time at all. How the hell did I save 18 seconds there? Or near enough that? I mean, during a speedrun, usually not. Um, I can only think of two categories where you get enough time as a break to take a sleep break which is um actually i can think of three pokemon legends arceus is catch them all and shiny charm and basically most multi pokemon speedruns so the world record uh for the 30 hour run was done all in one sitting no sleep in fact no breaks i don't think My general Pokemon knowledge is my general Pokemon knowledge is surprisingly very good. But when it comes to speed uh, knowledge within games, unless it's Pokemon Sword and Shield or this game, it's not very good. Yep, it does hurt to think about. My only run that's near enough to that length was my DLC Dofector. Um, that took me 20 hours, and I did that twice, and I had one sleep break. Oh, I don't know the type chart at all. I know the basic ones, but I don't. I follow a Google Doc the entire time. I follow a doc and play through a game. <laughs> I don't know type charts and whatnot. The doc I follow tells me exactly what to do. Tells me what moves to use on what turns. Um, depend tells me what moves to do with my stats. I just know where to go. Alright. Perfect. That's nice. That's slow. That's a sandstorm. <laughs> I could name the basic ones and then a few complicated ones. But when it comes to, for example, fairy, uh, not fairy, psychics type and weakness and shit, uh, I don't know. Uh, there's a menu here.
I remembered like last second that there was a menu here. Psychic and bug, I wouldn't have a clue. <coughs> I remember that ghost used to be super effective against psychic in gen 1 as a bug. Because it wasn't meant to. Or it might have been the other way around. What I don't remember which one I just said, but it's Psychic was super effective against Ghost. Yes, because Psychic had like one weakness, which was Bug. And the strongest Bug move was like Twin Needle? If that was even in Gen 1? I think that's what it was. There was one really bad Bug move. Which was like the only thing that was super effective and did damage. Yeah, bug is usually just known as the pointless type, which is... It can be true. But bug can be used sometimes. That's annoying. It would be really nice if this Scoville could attack and not use mean luck scary face but no it's so annoying how many times that i can save time on this one fight if it just didn't use a pointless move like scary face and also sandstorm is losing me more time like i just lost over 10 to mean look sandstorm And now I'm back to where I started. Like, there's so many ups and downs. This 3x is going to be hard. <laughs> this is not going to be an easy... 5-3x to get. The plan I want is to get a 5-3x today. And then during all of next week, I will spend my time actually practicing the game. Because I put, like, minimal practice into this game. But I'll do things like, um, treasure hunt runs etc etc i'll put practice into specific sections like i'll go through my run um so then we can do the final 10 minutes of time save to get a f uh, five two nine or two eight because that's the end end goal where i'll be like i'm done if i don't want to run this i won't run this because because there's no leaderboard split, which I fully think there should be, um, board record is impossible. I need to mention a board split or something. Because <coughs> I feel like we need one. Like, hands down, I think we need one. No question of that. But... I don't know why we haven't had one. Like, just have every run that was submitted since the last big change to Scarby be on a new board. And have every run before that be on an old board. Or even on an archive board. I think that would work. I might mention it after this run. And if I don't remember to mention it, and this PB does PB, but it's verifying this. Keep that in mind. 
because it's only hurting the game when people don't want to run it because the best thing they're going to get is a PB for themselves, which they probably don't even care about. There's no point having a leaderboard where the world record is just impossible because then there's no point having a leaderboard. It would give so much more incentive to play. One, because, well, new board, you know, new board, you kind of have to run it, get a time on it. And two, holy shit, I can actually get me a world record. I like to mention these past two hours have gone surprisingly really fast. And do you remember that turn off turbo? I'm also going to try and just say no to Kofu. Because I know that it's faster. Um, but I never, I never say no on the second option. Apparently there's two options here, so I'll say yes and then... Um, uh, yes, I do this, um, so then the past few splits have been set up, um, for example, during the Bombardier split, I did the olive roll, um, so I could just fly in, um, and Go straight back to Cotano and do it. Um, this whole quest line has been going on since the Larry split, where I triggered the cutscene for Kofu to go running. Um, and now I'm doing this whilst uh, after Great Tusk, so then I can run there and then fly up to a center that I got um, in the snow area. And then I'll fly and do Kofu. Um, and then the Kofu, KE, and Tulip splits are just me flying to those locations there's a lot of setup in this run that's done prior to actual tasks it's a very interesting concept of how this whole run is rooted for example during the first hour you're already level 50 because you spend 20 minutes grabbing candies and whatnot Okay, it's nice that I grabbed that actually. That's annoying, but fine. And because water physics is stupid, we look up at the sky to reduce lag. And we look at the minimap to know when we can let go.
I knew it was going to happen. I knew I was going to get paralyzed. Okay, it's fine. They definitely are. Um, for example, earlier we went into the Grusha gym in Glacida. Uh, I'm going to fucking... No, I need to heal the paralysis. Um, we went in and activated the Glacido Gym, so when we fly back later, um, we can just start the gym. And also, it changes the order in which Nimona fights us. So, we activate specific gyms, so for example, the one in Glacido. So, Nimona fights us immediately after we beat Katie, so we can use... So we can use Crocolor to beat Katie, and then we can immediately get one shot by Nimona's Lycanroc. Because between, after you finish that gym, Nimona will fight you, and you won't have time to change your party. So you have to manipulate it in a specific way by interacting with specific gyms, so that that happens. Very confusing. Which is also one of the reasons why we picked Fue Coco. So you can beat Katie and die to Nimona. And then you catch a Halucha because Halucha is useful for because you need three Pokemon for Team Star. But it's also useful for Ryan's gym fight. And which you need two Pokemon for for that being a double fight. A lot of tiny, tiny optimizations that if we didn't have, the run would probably be like seven hours long. Okay, actually using take down there is so nice. Thank you. That's the beauty of Pokemon speedruns, though. Is that most of it comes down to... Um... Like, how fights go and what things to pick up. Because... You're very limited on how fast the actual battle can go. That's not scary at all. That takedown's gonna be helpful. No, or not. It could have been helpful. Okay, so if that takedown hit, I wouldn't have just been muddy watered. And of course you got hell with. Nice. And he missed anyway, you've missed both of your attacks. Okay, that was slow, because it missed the takedown on Tatsugiri, meaning two extra turns. I'm gonna lose more time here, I think. Because for some reason you just sat there flying for like two minutes. That could have saved a lot of time if I didn't mess around with the menu. Um, and if he actually hit takedown. But because he's an NPC, of course he doesn't. Yeah, I'm going to be back in just two seconds.
I will say the trend has gone really fast. Surprisingly. Something that's really annoying though is we're coming up to the point where the run starts to just slow down. Because it's just mainly cutscenes and whatnot. It crashed, didn't it? Okay. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Um, if you mean you can see that the runs will start to slow down. Yeah. Dude, that load, <laughs> that load is, <laughs> don't get me started on that load. Yeah, I've had the game like three or four times crash there. Um, and that load is always really long <laughs> really long so that it always gets my heart racing because to be quite frank i don't want to lose two hours of my life to fucking pokemon scarlet and violet Okay, let's go do Koku. That's annoying. Okay, just lose me time. Okay, so a sandstorm did just spawn. Um, so I am going to save and reset. And I save and reset because the game runs like four frames if I don't. <laughs> this is like my one reset point in the game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the real ones, too. You know, they're always problematic. Mainly just these ones, though. Fair enough, that does actually sound quite apocalyptic, apocalyptic, rather. I mean, I don't know if I'm probably never going to have to deal with one because of where I live.
I'd count myself lucky. Um, I'm gonna mute because I need to eat something. This whole fight is just spamming one move, so I don't have to worry about it. I lost like a minute to that load being taking forever. That's one reason why people don't run this game. This stuff like the game didn't want to load. Now lose a minute. please. Fast menu. And now with all of the gym stuff that I mentioned earlier, we will be able to fight Nimona immediately after.
Just casual losing a minute to loads is so annoying. So, so annoying. I gotta just just think that this means that there's gonna be um what's it called? Oh what the fuck? I just saved another minute. Just saved it back again. <laughs> what? <laughs> I just lost a minute and then saved it back. Loads. It must be loads. I didn't do anything differently. Unless my menu was just that fast outside of Cortando. Even then, I shouldn't save 57 seconds. I'd like to mention that we'd almost be on a 5-3x pace right now if I didn't lose that minute to loads. <laughs> What the fuck? What is actually going on? My golds are so messed up. That's one reason why I don't want some of best as one of the components on this life split. Because it will be wrong on so many levels because of loads. Yeah, loads are really annoying. Loads and just performance in general loses and gains you so much time. Now we have the Nimona fight, which we'll die one shot because we can use Crocolo and because we lined it up properly. Loads are like the RNG on top of the RNG. Oh yeah, the only Pokemon run ever that has internet connection is the Mochi Mayhem category for this game. Because you need the mystery gift. Apart from maybe actually, um, like the multiplayer catch more speedruns. But no one really does those anyway. That category I also need to improve at as the time of 12 hours is not very good. I'm like two hours behind world record. And that's my longest run without breaks. I'm surprised I didn't run into that toxel. Pretty sure this is it, alright? It's just those two? Yeah, both free candies. Fucked up. Fucked up. 
Okay, that works, I guess. Oh, now we have ESP training. Yeah, I'm gonna jump now because I need to jump over the wall. <coughs> that was quite decent. The DLC is weird. The whole Kieran thing is so weird. As someone who's beaten that DLC like six times, I, I still find it weird every time. was slow. I'm also probably going to mute during this section just to finish off my lunch. Because there's like nothing really going on in this section. So I will see you in like two, three, three, maybe even four minutes. I don't even know how long the e whatever it's called takes.
I am back. <coughs> it's like the halfway point in the run where I get to just eat meats. Uh, very nice. Actually, this is not even close to halfway. I've got like another 10 minutes. But there's not much going on in that round. Three gym leaders left, including this one. Got two in until four team star bases. Where from after the Grisha gym, everything just starts to really slow down, in my opinion, and becomes less fun than everything that's happened before this run. In my opinion, um, so, um, yeah. This fight's also just spam one move until you win. Wait, I need my... I need something to happen with like TCG Pocket or something. I'm I haven't like properly played a match at TCG Pocket in so long. Maybe saving, maybe losing, not really sure. It was a decent seg, so could be saving a chunk. Without the detail timer, I don't really know. Ten. Ten is quite a decent time. <coughs> I'm happy with ten because with the amount of time that I've been losing, kind of needed. So, I hope everyone's weekend's going good. Um, 
I've done this run all weekend, so... It's quite... Quite the thing. Busy and chill. That's kind of how I like it. Um, usually I'm just speedrunning, so... Usually very hectic. Uh, where am I going? I lost blank of where I was going for two seconds there. Lechong, my man, my boy, my man, my myth, my legend. Wait, this was a cheese grater, but I don't know how that makes sense. Lost a bit of time on this last run. To um, still trying to stay within the lines. Janky. No, I hit that last one just because. In theory, you really don't have to hit many of those. Um, just to give me some extra cash. Let's pick up that. And the reason I want extra cash is because I want to be able to buy as many proteins as possible. And that's like an extra, like, one to three K. Which will be very much needed. I don't even need my PB video up. I, I'm so used to having different like PBs up because usually my PBs don't correlate with my splits. I'm like, let's check in the video where this is compared to my PB. I don't have to do that. It is. That is my PB there. I'm, I'm, I'm comparing to my PB. <laughs> it is a doozy. It is so nice to be able to compare on live split and not have to look it up. <laughs>
You lost 73. You know, I'm gonna go for the acro on um, the Titan. I think. Because I'm like two levels ahead of where I should be. Because again, I'm picking up candies that I don't need to pick up as Tangled Feet. It's a very high range anyway, and the fact that I'm two levels, meaning that I can potentially kill this. Something that could save me time that I'm just going to go for is I'm going to go for an Altaria. I'm going to risk it for the Biscuit on Altaria. Just, I don't know if it'll kill. I have actually got no idea. So, if it doesn't kill, well then, I'm the worst player that ever is at this game. Okay. <laughs> that should save me at least like five. I should save at least five. Whoa, indeed. That's almost the last one. There's going to be one more in about an hour from now. In fact, no, exactly an hour from now. And welcome, LB. Thank you for the good luck. So here's where I can save a bit of time on Halucha. Catching the Halucha. Reality is... Into here. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna get off. I'm gonna run over. Okay, well, it didn't work. Oh, I just ran into it. Okay. Well, I wasted all that time to just run into it anyway. That one's entirely my fault. That is slow. Still faster than uh, yesterday. <coughs> the whole point is to try and get a backstrike to increase the catch rate. Uh, thank you. That's annoying that I jumped there, but fine. And again. Slow. You move. Why am I falling down again? Dead. Dead. Ray. Ray. I'm gonna save, but I started climbing so slow anyway. I would have started flying, but I was too close. Don't go in the water, unlike yesterday.
We're three hours into the run and we're finally doing our first team star base. Grab this massive, large candy. Um, annoying then we can have your crocolo and on for me though use one medium all rares and then all candies maybe level 81 or 82 yep and then we can teach you acro in slot one and then this is where the notes say to save and quit, but I save and quit in a different spot. Thank you for the follow stars. Much appreciated. Well, the worst part about Team Star is that I have to press no to wanting to switch my Pokemon every time. Because there's no set mode. And there's just a Scyther in the way. Cool. Scyther wants some action. Oh, look, there he is. He just wants to watch. He's the referee. Bro, we have a referee. He's making sure everything goes as planned. As as me destroying a primate. So he's kinda getting caught in the crossfire. Because that we beat come and bang on three hours. We are getting into the late game. We got about just under two hours left to finish the entire game. Which is actually kind of crazy to think about. That's dumb. Surely a crocodile can kill that, right? Actually get an eel in. Dude, my quick things are not working today. Thank you.
No worries, Chaz. No Pokemon? Dumb. No, I'm just gonna ignore that, because we don't need that extra one. Last time I was here, or well, yesterday, uh, I missed a lot of Pokemon and it became a very tight thing. But I haven't missed much this this turn. Uh, Halucha is still not dead, which is nice. Oh, well, now Halucha is dead. Not yet, actually. Go. Uh, if there was just like normal Pokemon, nope, that actually works. Fine. That works quite nicely. I'd like to think that was faster. It definitely felt faster. Do the same strat as yesterday where I won't X attack on Lucario. Also, up until that last little bit there, just before the fighting base, where I, X, uh, where I did my last big candy jump, I think. It's the last big one. On Flamigo, I am now the correct level. I will probably gain a level quicker, not probably, I will gain a level quicker, but it won't matter as much now as like going for the ranges on Grusha. Oh, one HP? Really? One? Oh, this is very speed, and then it outspeeds me and goes shift here, right? Now it outspeeds me, right? It did yesterday. Yeah. Oh, shit. It didn't go spin out yesterday. Oh. That's kind of annoying it lived on one. Kind of annoying, and then also now this text is losing me even more time. Because last run it went for shift gear. The fact that this Flamigo could have potentially just one-shot that and saved the turn. Quite cool. Most of the time save I feel for this run is going to be in these few splits, by the way. As primo, uh, as example here. I don't think I did these splits very well.
I believe the team star splits are very big time bleeders. Like it becomes a very big chunk of time where um it's just so easy to just lose time. Like you could bleed two, three, four seconds so quickly. or something um that's cool to note is that the actual world record uh, i'm less than 30 minutes from it which i think is super duper cool obviously the run that i consider to be record right now is the 527-ish or whatever it was that Halkrieg got on his Confector. That's what I'm considering as world record. I have a real world record. Again, it's a 519. Something. Dude, I gotta figure out where this fucking poison base is right now. Okay. I don't know if it's better to look down or up. Probably down, because up is going to have that, like, trees and shit swaying. at me you sir I'm not scared of you buddy I don't think there's any way in which I can lose to you sir in fact, there's a lot of fights in this game where I feel there's not a way in which you can lose Oh, I did it anyway. I was even ready to like mashing B and one time where I don't. It was like the single second where I just swapped the buttons. <laughs> it's fun because only doing it once loses like two, three, not not too much time.
Okay, so for this one, you kind of want to be in the middle when you finish. Um, because it is just easier. Start picking off those ones. Can I just do like a circle, I'm thinking? I always complicate it and do it slow by going like in a diagonal sort of shape. This one is just... I feel like this one's more of a just go in a circle and you'll be fine. It's a bit slow. I need, to kill the ground. I need to kill everything from this point on. I don't know. I'm gonna kill that, and then I'm just gonna run. Run this. Oh, I could have gone up that to that tree. I remember that for next run. I can go up to that tree. Big rev room. I like how the Atticus uh, notes say Scum Tank, Monk, Muck, rev room. Big rev room. Saved another fucking minute. <laughs> or near enough. A 52 seconds. <coughs> I'd like to mention that I could have been another minute ahead. I could be on a 538 pace right now. Well, not even pace, because this is just... Oh, no, this would be pace, wouldn't it? Just kind of... I don't even know what to think of the... I could, potentially, if I played on par with golds, or at least within 25 seconds of my golds, get a... get my goal. It would just be a lot easier if I didn't lose a minute to loads um, on Tatsugiri.
really annoying. Um, but I'm not even I'm not gonna complain. I am four minutes ahead right now. I feel like even for all of these team star bases, especially Atticus, there's still like ten seconds or so in there. If I can practice them and like learn their layouts more, like look at what record actually does, I could definitely shave off another probably minute combined or something maybe. On average, probably save like a minute or so. <coughs> At least that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling about there. I need to go. Yeah. Also, even just getting to Mellow, I do very poorly in PB. I go like all the way around the fucking mountain and I don't need to. I think I'm definitely going to be setting up practice saves after this run. Specifically for all of the team star bases, so... Um... More specifically, um... I'll, like, make a save... And then... I'll trade it with... I'll just... Catch an OP Pokemon in this game, trade it, level it up, and bring it back. Then I'll just storm through the game, basically. Um. Oh no, I'll do that and then I can just kind of... Go straight to Team Star Bases, if you know what I mean. Um. I don't have to beat the entire game, that's not really my issue. Um. Just so I can practice them because I feel like they're gonna be my biggest low point in the entire game because I don't do any single story categories that would do remotely this type of gameplay. Um, and I feel like they're just my least knowledgeable part of the game. But yesterday I woke up with a 555 PB and I'm already 15 minutes ahead of that. <laughs> ahead of the 555. Which is good because I thought that 555 would take forever to beat. real question now it's how the fuck do I do this base because this base is not one 
that I have basically any knowledge on. Yep, they're all dead. Honestly, the plan is to kind of just spawn in more Pokemon as I'm running. Or we'll look at where the next place to realistically go would be. I'm definitely thinking down here. Dude, the lag is fucking... Just absolute crap. Um... Oh, look at that, and then I can just kill these three. Um... And just stay right outside of the gate. <coughs> That's honestly probably the way I'm gonna continue to do that one, too. Just stick to the left wall and start, like, making my way around. I'm starting to develop strategies. The fighting base is kind of just going to be the same the whole time, because it's a really narrow path. And then this and the poison base kind of just go, like, a left. And then when it starts to, like, branch off fully into just a narrow path in the poison base, just start looping my way back around. The only big difference for the poison base is that instead of continuing to go further behind closer to the mountain wall um, right at the end go up towards the tree and then I already have my plan for um, Ortega it's the one that I kind of I think the record uses at least I've seen Etiquette do it when I looked at one of his clips of the insane amount of lag. Um, but I don't know about Giacomo. I think this time I did the same strat as last run, so... I'm not going to count on gaining any time here, or losing any. I'm going to count on staying the same. Oh, I gained another 30 out of nowhere. Honestly, now that I'm thinking more in detail with these, Team Star bases are actually kind of interesting. They're not just run around, spam my button, hope I go, go fast. Now that I'm actually taking the time and thinking of details of like exactly where I kind of want to go, kind of interesting, I'm not going to lie. Just making me like this category more. Because the th there are three or main bits. No, I'll say three because it's all kind of one. Three main bits that I didn't like, which was the Team Star to Elite 4 section, that whole section I didn't really like. So airy to the end of Clavel. Um, I didn't like the intro because no one likes the intro. And then I don't really like the Area 0. But now that I'm thinking and like I've learned Area 0, I'm going to try and do it without notes. Um, but now that I've done uh, Team Star, that half is kind of gone. It's kind of just uh, Elite Four is something that I don't like, or Elite Five, I call it, and the intro. Those are the last bits that I'm not a fan of. But I don't think I'll ever be a fan of the Elite Four because it's just mashing and then five fights back to back. It, it's 20 minutes, though. It's 20 minutes, and I don't think those 20 minutes are worth not running a category that I actually really like. I think the work that's been put into this game is very intricate. And very... 
interesting. Like, as I've mentioned like three or four times by this point, the whole KD into straight into Nomono with Crocolaw. Um, the movement I think is fluent and I don't care about graphics and like, it's annoying how bad the game runs. Again, I'm pissed that I lost an entire minute to loads. Um, but it's fine. Um, so apart from that, it's, it's a decent run in my opinion. I do like me Scarlet and Violet. It's the game that I also run the most different categories on. Any percent, Victory Road, Mochi, and if you want to count um, Indigo when I do a run and um, Treasure Hunt, then you can. And then that's even more. It's also a game that I feel like I can fall back on if I don't want to run ZA. If I run ZA, which I'm going to, I'm going to at least get what I think is a respectable time. Unless I, like, really hate the game. Um, I feel like I could just fall back on Scarlet and have no issues. That's if, obviously, I don't burn myself out or um, achieve literally everything I want to achieve before ZA comes out. Because it's... It is possible. Probably not very likely. Especially if one of them is... Get Mochi Record. If it's even possible to get Mochi Record. But considering that's one of my goals, and the record holder is Crisis, I don't know if that one's possible. And also the fact that I can only run that category like once a month, maybe. Indigo Disc may be a bit more of um, a choice I could make for getting a record. Night talk. If anything, that's probably the category I'll end up picking. Namely because that category is guaranteed to exist in like... Six years. Uh, Mochi Mayhem is not. <laughs> it could still exist in that amount of time. But it's not confirmed due to... Um, it's not confirmed due to the fact that... Uh, Mystery Gift. Unless they're willing to make an update to specifically Scarlet to just give it to all players. Which, honestly, I don't think it should have been a Mystery and Gift event to begin with. It should have been an update where you can get it from somewhere. Like, I don't know, maybe Kieran after you finish Indigo Disc. Or even, like, Carmine, one of the Elite Four, saying, I found this random thing. But hey, I don't know. Yeah, I got 31.
Okay, just don't take my input. Am I going to lose any time here? Not in the gain of a... 15? 17? 15, 17? One of the two. I feel like that uh, Giacomo split could definitely go to a 3-2x. Fuck no, I know it can. Okay, one more team starts. So there's one more chance of, like, miscellaneous time save from team star. I guess maybe Penny could count, but like, I don't know how much you'd want me to agree. Also, any percent is good um, learning and like practice for Mochi. Like the month in Nevada is like I'm stupid. Okay. Now all TMs that aren't close combat. I'm gonna be like three grand down because I don't. Where's close combat? Okay. Uh, I didn't pick up an extra EM. I can't remember what it was. It was like 15 and 7. I'll just buy. Oh, I'll buy 13 then. And then eleven X attacks, and you know what? I'll buy two more of these just just to be safe, because I don't use IV tracker, and I'm losing time now. Slow many of there because I don't kind of money calcs. Honestly, in reality, I should wait till after, but I don't. <laughs> 
In theory, I should wait to vitamin after if I'm not using an IV tracker. But. <coughs> it. Yeah. to mention the lights are going really big for no reason. This part of the run is definitely growing on me a lot. The whole Team Star plus Ryan. It has grown on me quite a bit. I'm, I'm kind of starting to enjoy it. I'm, I don't know why. <coughs> In reality, I shouldn't be enjoying this because this is like the most boring part of the run. But. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below what your least favorite part of this speedrun is. <laughs> that was... That was the stupidest thing I've ever said and trust me, I'll never say it again. <laughs> I won't even say that in my shorts. Which you should go watch by the way. <laughs> I need to stop plugging myself. <coughs> I should stop before I get the cringe police on my ass. It's dumb because yesterday I was meant to post a new short. Uh, I haven't actually made the script yet. <laughs> also, I'm losing time again because the bullshit. Oh, Spidex streaming? Holy crap. I think I lost time, TV, anyway. I think I'm just getting 
shit. Yeah, Char is not guaranteeing these ranges. That's why. I'm just getting terrible attack and levels and all that. I like how all the, the glitter and shit that's falling from the sky, like fake snow or whatever it is, is following the camera. <laughs> it's following the camera on screen. It's a screen effect, not a world effect. It's just so funny how that works. And now it's a world effect. Only when you're moving does it become an effect on the actual world. <coughs> it's also come to my attention that specifically for like base mainline games like Sword and Shield and Scarlet and Violet, we can see that from now on every single gym leader out of all eight of them, at least one of them will most likely be a double battle. Meaning that in every single Pokemon speedrun from now on, if the games are following a pattern, we will have two Pokemon mains, minimum. With the exception of Scarlet having three, because you need three for Team Star. I guess X and Y did have like, four main. As I made a video on... Oh god, okay. My educational Pokemon shorts. That's how I grow my following. Not from being a good streamer, because I'm a crap streamer, but from making shorts on sp speedrunning. This is so simple. You just ready for this? Ready? This is the whole fight. She has four Pokemon in a duo setting. That's the whole fight. I don't have to change anything. I can just spam A from here and win. It's crazy. I'm not gonna lie me, I do love- I'm not gonna lie me, I'm not gonna lie, I do like me, Stone. I think it's a cool Pokemon. It's an interesting design for a dog-like Pokemon. I think that's what it is. Also the grave on its head when it buries it, it's like just really cool. The design choice of Houndstone is just... And Graveyard, actually. The Graveyard is a candle. Symbolizing death. It's just smart design ideas, in my opinion. Look now, there's a crap ton of houndstones. And the dancing graveyard. DJ Grave, or whatever it's called. But that was a good stretch.
is an interesting gym. I feel like it went a lot better. I didn't lose really any time because Sledge was crap anyway. Sledge was crap in PB. We are f basically five minutes ahead. Mid alt form art for new starters. Honestly, that's kind of cool. That's all the gyms, so we only got one story left to finish before we go into the music as a cleanup, which will be um, Clavel. 20 minutes of battling random trainers for no reason. Um, Nimona, Arvin, and then that's it. I'm also a lot more energetic right now. I don't know if it's because yesterday when I was in VC with Blood, I wasn't doing much talking. Uh, oh, shit. I wasn't doing much talking yesterday. Um, but I'm talking a lot more now. Um, I don't know if that's got anything to do with it. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? No, I'm not. I also don't know if it's got anything to do with the whole... <coughs> uh, me... Like... Learning during this run and like enjoy- I should have flown there. Don't know why I didn't. Me learning stuff and like enjoying... Team Star a lot more? I don't... I definitely shouldn't have done that, man. What the fuck? I don't know. But I'm a lot more energetic than I was last run at this point. In fact, I would have been dying for about 20 minutes or so. Can I go Clive or Clavel? Mr. Harrington. Dude, Mr. Harrington is my G. This man helping a bunch of teenagers. I was laggy. I'm assuming this will also be very laggy then. Mm -hmm. This has to be one of the worst places for lag. Except for lag tree thicket. I'm also utilizing the reset camera a lot more. Um, so instead of me forgetting that it exists, I'm just turning the camera normally with with the joystick. I'm using the reset camera more often, uh, which I think is super sweet.
It's very helpful. Thank you. Just lose me like actual fuck kind of time. Dude, I don't get how this, this, this shit works, man. I don't. Honestly, I don't. Random forges. We'll get rid of you for you. No, I'll just eliminate your Pokemon for you. My Pokemon actually like take shit out for this. Dude, water is the one thing that like fucks this over. Water just messes this shit up. So bad. And that should be GG. And then I guess I'll put it on there as well. Nice. Not bad loads, just okay in terms of movement, and then the beginning of that was kind of slow. The part by the God of War was kind of bad. Decent, not great, decent. I'm surprised if this doesn't gold. Ortega is that one thing that I kind of just did the same. I did a tiny, mm, I did a tiny bit different actually. I don't know if it was any faster because of how crap the overall movement was. Please baby doll eyes, because that would make this so much nicer. Nope. Okay, lose me time. I'd like to mention that I'm like two X attacks up. It'd be really nice if you could baby doll eyes me again. Or oh, for the first time. Nope, or gyrable. Sweet. That also works, I guess. I guess gyro will works. Probably like nothing. Six. Okay, that's not bad actually. That's more than I thought. Not five, not six, sorry. That's more than I thought I was gonna get from that. I was gonna expect like on par or like two seconds. Two seconds either way, should I say? That is sub 4 Ortega though. I 
I like getting the mini achievements like oh sub four Ortega. I could I could get a sub three thirty Giacomo. Um sub four ten Clavel. Um sub four thirty Gita. Like those tiny achievements, honestly, they mean a lot. Specifically to me. Probably not to anyone else. I find them very cool and they're very good mini achievements to get. That so if I don't, if I play for the full 540 or whatever, and I don't get a good PB, I'm still playing for, oh, I could get this tiny mini achievement of like, if I save like an extra 30 seconds, I'm going to get a sub, I don't know, fucking 432 Elite 5. I don't know. You're telling me. I like the mini achievements. Um... I know not many people care or think about them, but... Heidi Ho Neighborino. And now we can teleport to school, where we can do our deposits, our proteins, carboses, and teach in close combat. And then we can be done with, um... Clavel. I was going to say we could be done with Team Star, but then I forgot that there's a whole new fight with more dialogue and all that bull crap. So the question is, is that do I have to deal with more Penny dialogue? Or no, because Clive does it for me. No, should be, should be fine, because I think Clive just does it for me. Like a good man. Or no. Yep, oh, he does. Okay, because Clive is the goat. Clive is the true goat. You can say goodbye to Clavel. I want Clive for president. <laughs> School head teacher thingy. Y you get what I mean? Yeah, I got like way too many fucking things, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I didn't teach close combat. I didn't do this last run either. Don't be a kid in the way. Thank you. That kid that's walking around like an absolute idiot got in my way last run, I think. So dope. Such a such an interesting run. Is Blood still alive? Is the question. He is. He's coming to the end of his run. What the fuck, dude? A tiny crumb just messed my mouse up. <laughs> Good job we didn't like make the end stream or something. So this is just all acro and Toko Gravel. that I can acro. Oh, that's bad. Oh, fuck, that's bad. 
Oh, I'm just gonna heal then, I think. It's annoying. I went, it, it's slow and annoying. I don't know if I'd say bad. Because I'm not gonna wake up this turn. I think I can use a full heal. If I can't, then that's a problem. It's really bad because this button hit me with a terror boosted aqua step, and I don't know how much that's about to do. That shouldn't kill me, but I don't. I don't know how much a terror boosted aqua step is about to do to me. Okay, no, that's fine. That, that's fine. It, it speed rose. Oh, it's gonna outspeed me. It's gonna outspeed me. Oh no. Okay, we lost a bit of time, because fucking bullshit thing. We lost about fucking 34, 35. Ah, dude, fuck you, Clavel. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. I had a healthy lead into three uh, into a five three x. Not anymore. <laughs> now it's a bit scary. With I, I went from running with like a minute fifteen to forty five seconds, and I don't know how many more gold splits there are. <laughs> how many more good like easy guaranteed gold splits there are to at least stay on par with PB? I don't know how many are left. I know I can save time on a crap ton of the Elite 5. Oh, I need to... I can save time on Elite 5 by just keeping track of HP and knowing when I do and don't need to heal. <laughs> That's time save. It's really scary, though. I'm just gonna grab this just for safety because I don't know how this Elite Four is about to go. I'm really excited to see my BPT after this, though. Not BPT, uh, SOP. Because I'm going to guess it's going to be like a 5-6, 36 or something. 5-36, five, 5-37. Five, because I've lost at least, I can think of two splits where I've lost a minute 30 alone. Not including like the splits where I've lost like a few seconds here, a few seconds here. Definitely. No! Fuck, man. Okay, well, I'm losing like a minute. Great. Fuck that, man. Fuck off. Fuck off. Yep. 
Okay, well, guess what? We're on 540 pays. That's bullshit. That is such a bullshit thing, man. That's so bullshit. Like the easiest thing to do properly. I'm beyond pissed right now. Fuck off, Rico. Actually, just fuck off. Go fuck yourself. That's like a minute out of nothing. Because of one fucking misclick. That's like five three X gone. Five three X gone to a misclick because it accidentally read my fucking up input I accidentally press up so I lose the one thing that I had a tight grasp on because I got effect sporting clavel losing me 30 35 actually and then I'm oh my god I actually fucking misclick losing me another 40 odd 40 50 whatever that's mm. two splits and I go from being a good minute and a half until I'm in the danger zone to I it's gone so pissed off i'm I, i'm beyond pissed right now not even funny I should be done in about 40 seconds, but I'm not going to be. Ready to watch my time just completely tick away. One fucking misclick. I went to go up because I thought I was on the eight question. And then I thought I stopped myself. I thought, no, that's not the question I'm on. And I thought I stopped myself, but because the controller's broken, it read my fucking up input. Yep, taking away.
There goes my 5-3x, BPC. I'm gonna have to save like a minute out of nowhere. I'm gonna have to pull a minute out of my ass somewhere. Probably even more than a minute out of my ass. I don't even know what my HP is. Oh, it used Protect, so it doesn't even fucking matter. More time loss. Ah, <sighs> dude. I'm now losing more time, because it went for Protect. Woohoo. Going into the split, or going into the Clavel split, I had a 538, like, 30 BPT. Now, I have a 540, 53. I went from being five minutes ahead to two and a half. That is fucking bullshit. Great way to start off my least favorite part of the run. Just, just shit. There's about two minutes of time save on Rico. Two minutes. I'm gonna go for low kick here. Cause I use this shit ton of proteins. Yeah, I think I used way too many proteins there. <sighs> Dude. I'm just pissed, man. It's about a PB, but like a minute. He's ahead of PB by a minute going into the last two areas, I think. Something like that. The last 30 odd minutes or something. Or even the last 20. I don't actually know. Um, I am not healing. For Larry. Actually, no, I'm just going to heal for Larry. I don't even want to risk him, man.
I don't want to have to worry about potentially dying the A slash crit, whatever the fuck it is. Okay, it would be really nice. Do you know what would be like exponentially like phenomenal in this fight? There's just one thing that could happen. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, at least that thing went right. Because it means now I don't have to heal for hassle. I can just go straight in. One, I don't have to watch the animation of Acro. Um, and I don't have to fucking heal and whatnot for hassle i can just go straight in because i'll be full hp because i should in theory kill everything That was on par. That was like a half a second PB. Okay, I don't have to heal here. Um, it'd be fine. It shouldn't do like a proper kill. It shouldn't kill me from full. Oh, it doesn't. No, it 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 didn't. It usually does. A slash me anyway. Okay. Put the controller down. Not worry. Should hopefully be saving time here. Hopefully. There's poison point. I don't have to heal poison, I don't think. I don't remember. I 
I'm gonna risk not healing poison point. So I'm pretty sure if I do, then d I get hit into something else and then die. Usually. I'm speaking from Victory Road knowledge of fucking picking up that random forest stall. I'm getting absolutely shit on. Getting absolutely shat on. As long as I don't die this turn, I should be fine. I'm not counting on it though. Okay. <laughs> I essentially have to kill this Baxcalibur. If I don't kill Baxcalibur, then. Uh, runs dead. Because that's like 20 minutes down the drain. <laughs> runs actually dead if I don't kill this Fax Calibur. I don't know if Poison Point's 100% to proc, but if it is, then I've had it twice in a row. Just uh, really annoying. Or rather, if it isn't 100% uh, to proc. Okay. We're saving time again, because I didn't heal. Oh, what? No, what? How are we not saving time? How are we losing more fucking time? Oh, I'm sick of this game. <laughs> okay, this just... There's no way, right? I, I need to actually now save another minute, because somehow I lost 20 seconds. I lost 20 seconds in a four-minute split where... I don't get it. I'm gonna throw to a fucking misclick and I'm gonna fucking die. Yep, I already know, I'm losing fucking time. I'm losing like two minutes. Yeah, I know.
Can I save a minute before the end of the run? How the fuck am I losing more time? The fight went the exact same. Oh my god. Oh, I'm actually just pissed, man. Why won't the cutscene just go? Like, why? 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 I need to mute in a minute.
I split leg though. Just. <laughs> I don't get it, man. I don't get it. I actually don't. I don't... I'm failing to understand here. I I don't even really want to talk about it. The only thing I know is that... As long as I'm not more than two and a half minutes coming out of Ortega, like... On any run coming up, PB is possible. It was a pretty safe run right up until the Elite Four where I didn't even mess up a fight. I messed up the fucking... What's it called? Interview, man. I'm lost how I bled 18 seconds on Hassle, though.
It wouldn't surprise me if I lose even more time here. Save 14. That only leaves 53 seconds to save. <coughs> Fuck's sake, man. I wouldn't be mad if my BPT was still 539. I wouldn't even be that mad. What I am gonna do is probably can like chuck up uh, my run and world record and just watch them side by side and see if there's any big changes that I could do because I'm doubtful that there's like 20 minutes difference from just small optimizations I feel like there are some big things that I'm not doing the record is saving like five to ten minutes minimum so I feel like there's a lot of small optimizations that I'm not taking advantage of just yet. Um, one is the Orthworm to Lavincia. Um, but I don't, I don't know. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. It do be kind of annoying, but it's fine. I don't, I wasn't planning on stopping this category after uh, 339, so it's not too big of a deal. As long as I don't have any more big mistakes, because what it essentially means is now I've gotten insensitive. Thanks for the red blood. Uh, GG on your 348. And too bad bullshit RNG. I love bullshit RNG. Um, just now finishing the Mizukoza stuff before we head into Era Zero and finish off our run. Maybe we have the intense job of trying to somehow save a minute. Um, we don't know if that's possible. I have no idea. Um, to try and get a 350, a 339, save the run somehow. Because this thing's called misclicking, which I'm sure everyone's aware of. It loses you two and a half minutes. Um... That's, I almost went to the nurse's office. Now that would be really annoying. <coughs> um, I feel like there's a chance we could save that time, because I feel like... My whole area zero from station one to four or whatever. Because I'm pretty sure I left hanging around for like 15 seconds at one point. Um, because I was fast forwarding the world record. Because I didn't know what I was doing. But I do know what I'm doing now, I think. Which should save me some time. Yep, yeah, don't talk to Briar. It's the last thing we want to do. That would be end of run. I would just quit right there.
Then we jump here to gain a bit more height. Well, not even height. That's probably slower, to be honest. Um, but one more fight before we can just <coughs> chill out for about an hour or so. Waiting. We should be in the last hour of the run. Sneeze allows to try and Oko Guja had a minus attack nature. Oh. <laughs> I mean, usually minus attack natures aren't great. Um, I've learned that the hard way. Um, yeah. Kind of, kind of glad there's less than an hour left. My head is a lot more clear today. Like, I'm definitely ready to go. Seems like a lot of close calls in the run. Obviously, when it comes to, like, actual battles in Arcus, I'm not too knowledgeable. In fact, most things in Arcus I'm not knowledgeable on. It's just this game. This is the only game where I know things in. And I guess Galarian Star Tournament, but... God, that category is... I learned the hard way that that category is not fun after like four runs. Oh, that's a big difference. 15 and 16 to probably less than 11 and 16. Yeah, that is not, not great. So unfortunately from after this run, uh, the main reason why I'm finishing this run is I am not going to be able to do another one for about a week. Um, I'll be able to do one attempt on the sat no, not Saturday, the Sunday. Um, so I really want to finish this run. During the week, I will be doing... Uh, treasure hunt attempts and just practice in general. I don't know if I'll stream practice or not. Um, but I do want to try and compare my run to Halkyrie's run, who has the record right now. And we'll probably continue to have the record to see if there's any big changes that I haven't done in my run. Or maybe even some small optimizations that are just easy to slot in. Again, all swim to Lavincia type things. Because the end goal is four, not four, five, two X. Which is apparently a really decent run. Um...
I see, I see. Oh, fucking hell, I almost went the wrong way. Also, after I do get a 5 2x in any percent, I will move to Mochi and Indigo. Probably more Indigo. Where I will be trying to get a. I'll probably stick to that till I can get World Record. Probably. Because I kind of want to do that. That's not really a promise. It's kind of just something that could be nice to at least go for. And at least until ZA. Because when ZA comes out, I will be all over that game. Unless it's crap and I don't like it. But we'll see. We'll see how Z is. I don't mind the whole concept of... <coughs> I don't mind the whole concept of Legends Arceus being the main focus of the run. I don't like the research point idea. That's why I don't run Arceus. Make it less battle focused and more catching focused. Like Let's Go, basically. But remove research points, please. Just remove research points, and it'll be a run that I'll do. On whatever day that game comes out, I'm if I boot it up and I see a research point task, just know that this is what I'll be running. Is I refuse to run a research point game. Just like how anyone refuses to run this game. Really? Is that a cutscene that can be skipped by going over the wall? I feel not, but I don't really know. I need to sneeze. So I'm going into area zero for the first time without the record up to see if I remember how to do it. So it's probably going to go to shit. That's what's going to happen. The whole run is going to go to ever living shit. Um,
Here we go. I sneezed. Am I ready for the worst? Yes, because I'm. This is gonna be the worst area zero you've ever seen in your entire life. We can somehow save 30 seconds down here. That's good. <laughs> That's what we want is to somehow whip 30 seconds out of thin air. Whether that happens or not, we'll see though. Just need like a fast area zero. I beg. <laughs> I beg to give me 34 seconds. That's annoying. Yeah, preferably, I didn't get Rotom twice, but that's fine. I like Salucha. <laughs> okay, so I have a weird split for these, is that Research Station 1, 2, and 3 all split after I kill the Pokemon. But because Research Station 4 doesn't have a Pokemon, I split when I enter the thing, which is just weird. It's stupid, I know. But they didn't realize until after that it was stupid. But whatever. I guess... I guess it works, I don't know. I don't really make the rules. Okay, less than 30 seconds to save.
Can we save 29 more seconds? Now we can just leave. <coughs> we'll go to area two. Um, I'm gonna try and do that slide to slot me f uh, to slop to stop me from walking. I kind of remember the trigger. Move the fuck out of my way. I kid you not, Namona. Little weirdo, move the fuck out of me way. Because unfortunately, Nimona, unlike you, you wouldn't be able to beat everything in Paldea in five hours from now. Or five hours ago. You just aren't good enough. Look at that, I'm just phenomenal. I am just too fucking good at this game. Really? Really? I actually just want to be a pain in my ass? Great. Okay. Slide. And there's just you in my way? Okay. Okay, I didn't turn auto save off, which is nice. Because, I mean, I don't... I don't know why I would need to. I ex I did last run for no reason. Which was scary just in case the game crashed. But I'm glad that the game didn't crash. Ice cream tail. I'm gonna have to kill you, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately, Penny. Uh, uh mm, Penny. Maybe don't. It's about to, like, open its mouth. It's battle time. It runs away. What am I doing here? Yeah, Acro twice. Could be like really nice and like a good time save if just like this one thing could happen. Because I left it on one. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Penny. I knew I could count on you, Penny. <laughs> the fuck? Okay. Thanks, Penny. Dude, Penny just saved me. 30 fucking seconds. Out of thin air. like to mention that if you haven't noticed yet maybe look at the best possible time
Now, there's obviously no way I'm going to be playing one second in my gold the entire run. So, it, preferably, I'd get, like, another 10-ish <coughs> from this walking section. Okay, let's just hope I'm doing this right. Good fuck you. Wait, hang on, I gotta try and remember this. You go down all the increase station three. Okay, no, I do remember. You fall into research station four from that little drop. And then in research station four, you TP up to two and drop. Yeah, that just confused me a bit. <laughs> I might have to make sure. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, but like, I actually just have to make sure. Because <laughs> I don't want to throw this, like, potential comeback to the bullshit. Like, I forgot how to do Area Zero after doing Area Zero. <laughs> There's just, like, no way I could possibly bring myself. Okay, so Station 3 is what I just did. I'm well aware that what I just did was Station 3. Yeah, okay, you fall in. You, you, yeah. I lost one second. Fuck, okay. Nice. Sweet. It's like a okay, research station for cutscenes, cutscenes. For some reason, he hasty mints there. I don't know why. Yeah, okay, so you run down to research station four. Then you run up. You run you run back up. And you fall. And then you TP I just I know it's from there, and then you TP back up to two and fall. I just, I just, no, I, I don't need to check. You, f you go all the way down, hit the cutscene for four, you run back up, you jump into four then from the top, then you TP back up to two, then you head straight down and then pull back as you're falling down into the pit again for two.
there's research station for us so now i run up back outside and then i can just drop into it oh whoops that uh, should save me a bit of time like uh not over my pd it should save me a bit of time instead of just running all the way around normally I'm gonna guess this wireless is still there. Hi Zoilus. Hi Zoilus. If anyone knows what that reference from. That fucking paragraph, man. A fucking paragraph just scared the ever living shit out of me. Pull the thing that paragraph or whatever it's called actually got some love in Pokemon. Really? Didn't didn't think to just like slide on the wall there, buddy. Cool to think that it actually got some love <laughs> after being like a Gen 4 Pokemon that or not not even Gen 4, it's Gen 2. That no one thought about. Did I gold that? I did, didn't I? About like six. Okay. I am happy. <coughs> okay, so I got six to play around with until the end of the run. It's okay. Not a great lead, but it's okay. It's not perfect, but it's not... Fuck you, Arvin. I actually just got in my fucking way. Why is it that time that you thought, let's run to the side where I actually need to use a fucking teleporter? Laggy game. You know what? I'm just gonna full, I'm gonna full send it. No, I'm not. Are you for real? Are you for real right now? Okay, I didn't get caught. It's not bad. Okay. I didn't get caught there on the on the wall, so. Oh really? I didn't get caught on the wall by Rotom there, so that like extra few seconds of sliding is fine. That slow slide that I just got is fine. Um, it shouldn't matter too much. Um, getting caught on that wall by there was really annoying. Preferably that one didn't happen, but that's... I got that on my PB. It was just a bit of time save that I didn't get.
Okay, this way world record would be finished by now. Knowing it, you suck a punch, but fine. This is going to be so close, man. This is excruciatingly close. It's not actually that funny. There is about two fights. There's there's two two fights stopping me from this. And depending on how they go from here, if I could gold one of them, I mean I want to make a new category, um, one that I feel like should have been made a long time ago. Uh, Academy Ace Tournament Speedrun. I feel like that should be a category. Um, I don't feel like you would need to level up that much more. Like, there could be a few extra candies that you pick up, which could just be direct correspondence of, like, any quick rare candies and shit from Mochi Mayhem. So all the groundwork's already done. It's just... Like... It's all there. There's a whole category that's designed around getting you a high level that does the Academy Tournament. It's just... It's a bit, you know, iffy. But... No one's run it. And I feel like it's kind of sad. And I feel like it would be interesting, you know? I mean, granted, some of the fights would just be a repeat of spam, this move, win. Something else that would be really interesting is that if this could go any faster... Because that would be kind of dope. Something that'll save me like two seconds is <coughs> the first time I did this yesterday, you're meant to talk to Seda first. I didn't do that. I tried to talk to the pedestal immediately and I didn't.
So not only did I take a horrible line, um, I talked to the pedestal first and then lost like three or something like that close enough. Because I always forget that you don't talk to the pedestal first. No impact draw. Seda down. I 
I have 34 seconds. <sighs> Fucking hell, man. Fucking hell. I think I've done it. If this next fight goes to any sort of decency. I think I might have clawed it back. No fucking way. Just cannot mess up this next fight. If I just don't mess this up. This fight just goes correct. Fuck, man. Holy fuck. Just please. God, I had so many spare X attacks. What the fuck? Excuse me? Why are there so many X attacks? I don't know if. Let me slot one, right? Use this shit for one fight. Oh, this is like the most intense speedrun I've ever done. <laughs> this is the most intense bullshit I've ever had to go through in my life. 
Just like... <laughs> Just uh, 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 uh. fucking hell, man. Fucking hell. I'd like to mention that it should not have... If this is it, it should not have been this close. Not in a million years should it have been this close. It is only this close because I misclicked in the interview. I kid you not, it should not have come down to... It should not have come down to the last two fights determining whether this got a 5-3x. Oh, I should not have done that. <laughs> okay, I can safely say that we shouldn't lose 30 seconds on just dialogue. I hope. <laughs> How? How, how, how? We went from having a 538 BPT coming out of Ortega. Then, effect spore put me to sleep, which made me lose whatever. That's fine, because I still had a 538, I think. Uh, BPT. Then I misclick on the interview. I misclick on the interview. Which loses me two and a half, which puts me at a 540, like 50 or whatever. And then throughout the entire rest of the Elite Four, all the way down to Penny, Arvin, um, and then through all of this, everything up until Sada, I'm preying on gaining 30 seconds. It should not have come down to from. Uh, what's it called? Rika? To... Sada. Me praying and banking on I gain another 30 seconds. It should not have come down to... Should not have come down to that. It should have been a comfortable 538, 537. <coughs> that is nuts. It should not have come down to... Me banking on gaining an extra 30 to... F uh, a minute, and then an extra 30. From the Elite Four. I don't think it should have... Should have come down to that. This is gonna be like... A mid-339... 539. Dude, the fuck, man. It shouldn't have come down to that. Fucking hell, please. Just just make sure now. Make sure. Please, speed, speed, speed. Losing time. It's fine. Oh! It should not have come down to that. How in the fuck did we still do that? <laughs> 541 that he's somehow knocking down that much time. That... 
should not have been possible. Should not have clawed that back somehow. Uh. The fuck, man. I actually just the fuck. <sighs> that that feels nice. We are officially less than 10 minutes from my final goal. And we mute the game. 